The U.S. dollar index is trading in the green, having gained 0.06% from yesterday's closing level. Fundamentals are in favor of the U.S. currency as strong macroeconomic data released this week downplays the recession risks in the domestic economy. Today, investors are absorbing U.S. GDP data for the third quarter. The U.S. dollar versus the Canadian dollar pair is trading under higher volatility as Canada also provided important data. Market participants are trading with caution. Popular currency pairs retreated from the recent peaks. The euro-dollar pair failed to develop the uptrend. The pound-dollar pair has survived a rough week, having slumped after a record rally. Fears about a disorderly Brexit pushed the pound sterling down at the year-end. In this context, the US dollar has been advancing against a basket of six major currencies. It's on track for the best week in a month. Apart from upbeat economic data, the greenback has been supported by remarks of Fed officials who spoke in favor of the cautious approach to interest rates. The US dollar index opened the New York trade at 97.51. Among the market-moving reports from the U.S. today are data on private consumption and GDP for the third quarter. The revised gross domestic product matches the second estimate. So the U.S. economy expanded 2.1 percent on a quarterly basis. Today, Canada reported on its retail sales. This metric is viewed as a barometer of consumer sentiment and a leading indicator for the retail sector in the short term. A higher index is bullish for the Canadian dollar, while a lower index makes the loonie weaker. The consensus suggested an increase in retail sales for October. However, analysts were wrong. Canada's retail sales fell sharply 1.2% month-on-month, thus making an annual rate decline by 0.6%. No wonder the Canadian dollar is losing ground versus its American rival. Following the downbeat data, the US dollar versus the Canadian dollar pair was trading at near 1.3166. Early in the week, Canada released dismal data on wholesale sales and manufacturing sales. Amid such feeble fundamentals, the loony could extend weakness, though some analysts foresee the loony's resilience against the US dollar. As a commodity currency, the Canadian dollar finds solid support from rising oil prices. Yesterday, WTI futures closed at the level above $61 a barrel for the first time in over three months. The main consumers of the Canadian crude are China and the US. Progress in the trade talks encourages a rally of oil prices and other commodities. That's all for now. Thank you for watching and stay tuned.